Hey, how's it going? Bolt Matrix here. It's Friday, July 2nd, 2021. We got some news. Let's talk about it. First up, Super 7 re -react, Reaction Transformers Wave 4 revealed. And these are all movie based figures. We've got Dead Prime, aka Fallen Leader. We've got Galvatron. We've got Emperor or King Starscream. And then we've got Hot Rod. I really wish that was a Rodimus Prime, but actually the Hot Rod looks pretty darn good, and I really dig that Galvatron for some reason. I have not been the biggest fan of these figures, but hey, these are pretty cool, but man, I'm really getting tired of Zombie Prime showing up. I'm sorry, not Zombie Prime, Corpse Prime showing up everywhere now. Fellow Transformers fan Proto Man has a picture on his Twitter that shows all of these reaction figures. Wave one, two, three, exclusives, and four. And to be honest, I kind of forgot that this line was a thing. It's a bummer that one of the figures is just a, is somebody, is literally Starscream with a new hat. <laughs> but some of these, I, if I had thought about it more, I would have picked up. I would pick up Dirge. I would pick up Perceptor. I would pick up Grimlock and Shockwave and Alpha Trion. Yeah, some of these I would have picked up had I paid attention. Next up is Bumblebee Cyber vs. Adventures. Warrior Class Dead End has been revealed. I thought we weren't getting any more Warrior Class figures. Dead End was a knockout character in Season 3. He, he legitimately was a very good character in Season 3 that never saw a figure, and now he's getting one. And it looks like it's going to be coming from Target? I don't know. All right, some third-party news. Fan Toys, FT25 Outrider, a.k.a. Masterpiece Trailbreaker. Trailbreaker was my favorite of the original Generation 1 characters in the show. I just I loved the character for some reason. He didn't get a lot of love in the show, but I loved him. And this looks really good. I mean, this looks really good. And he's got probably my favorite kind of hips, uh, the ones that the entire hip section moves. That's That's good. It looks cool. It looks like those old Land Rovers. Or was he a Toyota? I want to say he was a Land Rover. Anyway, it, it looks good. It really looks good. But Fans Toys has had some QEC issues lately. So we'll see how that one stacks up. I'll let, uh, I'll let Sixo actually test that one for me. Now, on the heels of Outrider comes Hoist. <laughs> Fans Toys Hoist. No official name yet, but it's a prototype so far, and this looks very cool as well. I like the way this looks. Again, Hoist isn't my favorite, but hey, I'm glad they, they're making it, and it looks like a tow truck, so cool. Finally, and most importantly, we've got Transformer Cyberverse, Dinobots Unite, Wheeljack, and Grimlock. Uh, so Grimjack, or Wheellock, maybe? Uh, official name is Wheel Grim. I think... Grim Jack is a better name. Anyway, uh, hey, more Smash Combiners or Smash Smishers. Cool. I might pick this up. I don't know. I just, I feel done with Cyberverse, but apparently Cyberverse isn't done with us. So <laughs> there's that. This is on top of the other versions of these uh, crash combiners that we've already seen. So we saw, what is it? It's Megatron and Slug, and then Swoop and Bumblebee. I think it was Bumble Swoop was the name. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I think that was the name. But anyway, so cool. These are coming out. That's nice. And that is the news for today, July 2nd, 2021. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. If you're able to have a long weekend, considering it's July 4th on Sunday, I hope you have a wonderful three-day weekend. I will not be taking off on the videos, so I will try to get videos up. I have plans for the 4th, but Saturday and Monday I'm not doing anything, so expect videos then. As always, I have been Bull Matrix, and I'll catch you all next time.